Abortion has been a huge topic of discussion ever since the overturning of Roe v. Wade. Just recently, Dr. Phil had a guest, Lila Rose, on his show, who's a pro-life advocate, does an amazing job at debating pro-choice versus pro-life. And in this video we're gonna watch, he's, he's not only fuming at her response, but also the audience is fuming and, dare I say, manifesting demons when Lila Rose speaks the truth. And I'm gonna show you how Dr. Phil is 100% wrong about one of his statements here. And we're gonna watch this debate. I think it was unfair in this, but he's obviously pro-choice as most of the world. Still blows my mind how you can debate this and you can be pro-death and you can argue that women should be able to kill their babies in the womb. I know this video is gonna get flagged. It's gonna get stunted. It's gonna have a little banner right here down below about what abortion is. Ending of a human life, that's what it is. Let's react to this debate. Let's watch it and I'll give you my thoughts on it. All right, here we go. This video is titled Dr. Phil Debates Pro-Life Activists on their YouTube channel. Let's watch and react to this. When Roe versus Wade was overturned, a number of states had abortion bans ready to take effect. Trigger laws in 13 states banned abortion immediately or soon after Roe was repealed, meaning the federal ruling triggers a state law banning abortion to go into effect. Some states are already seeing legal challenges to their trigger laws, and there are more lawsuits likely to follow. No one here is pro-death. And no one here is pro-abortion. Already lying two times. Pro, being pro-abortion is pro-death. And they definitely are all, this whole crowd, everybody here except for her is pro-death, pro-choice. You're, you're going to see them all gang up on her. The difference is pro-choice and pro-life. Lila, you, you say some things in the predicate of your positions that life begins at fertilization, that science is very clear about that. And you, you have to know science isn't, there, there's no consensus among the scientific community. There is, that, Dr. Phil, 96% no, of scientists not. say that I, life begins at fertilization. If you're no, an in vitro specialist, well, no, you're let, looking to create let, let me, let me a single cell embryo, and then you know you have a new human life. So it, it is a scientific fact. Well, actually, it's not. Well, when, do you, when do you say human life begins then? There's, well, it's, it doesn't matter what I think. I, I, I don't care what I think. What I'm saying is well, the scientific is community does not have a consensus about when... And he's 100% wrong on this. I'm going to show you how wrong he is. But the argument is if life doesn't happen at conception, when does it happen? And it's okay to murder the baby because life hasn't begun yet until... When, Dr. Phil? Life begins. It's simply and that inaccurate. Is, You're sim it's simply inaccurate. That's not true. You can go to the Where? body Single of, cell embryo is a unique new human life. You can go to the body of scientific literature and you can find... He's going to go to his notes. You know, they, they set the show up. So let's see what the directors, what notes they gave Neuroscientists who say that it begins when there is a detectable... Brainwave. But Dr. Phil, in to, an abortion, if it's not a human life, why do you have to kill it? I haven't mm. spoken over you, and you keep speaking over me, and I assume that's because you don't want me to finish my thought, which is, if what, what is he anyone saying? here wants to fact check me instead of speak over me. Okay, if anyone here wants to fact check me instead of speak over me, I'll, I would like to fact check you here. Life begins at fertilization. 96% of liberal, pro-choice, and non-religious biologists agree. A new study has found 96% of biologists have be believed that life begins at fertilization. Sorry, Dr. Phil. You got fact-checked. You're wrong. He's going to go on to the dissertation, the study of uh, scientists around the world and different colleges. Confirmed 5,300 biologists, 96% affirmed. Human life begins at per fertilization, with 4%, 240 of them, rejecting that view. Hmm. Sorry, Dr. Phil. You're wrong on this one. You can go to the scientific literature and query what the definition is of the beginning of life, and you will find He's 100 that wrong. there are different definitions. And it's up to you to decide what you think, but there is not a consensus among the scientific community and it has actually evolved across time. Before we had sonograms, uh, it was a black box what was going on in there. Then when we got to the point we had sonograms and we could see, oh, you can detect a heartbeat. Okay, now. Uh, All of this argument is about justifying the murder of babies, justify the, justifying the killing of children. None of these people can sleep at night if they truly believe they're killing children. How do they sleep at night? What's the devil's agenda? Well, these are not really kids. They're not, life doesn't begin until the first kick. 
life doesn't begin until the first brainwave. No, life begins at conception. There's a video where they put under a microscope uh, a sperm fertilizing the egg and a flash of light happens the moment the sperm meets the egg. Light. Life begins. Literally, life begins at conception. Up until Scientists then, have confirmed this. It was referred to as quickening. Uh, when you could feel the kick, uh, that was the beginning of life. And then like, we yep, got no. better technology. And, and just to give you reference, we watched the whole video. The girl in the back on the screen, you see in the white shirt, she recently had an abortion and she cries about how it was tormenting her and she feels terrible about it. And she's advocating for pro-choice and her, her debate, her anger was she had to go out of state because Louisiana wouldn't let her get an abortion. So she's like the main one of the show they're talking about. We won't, we won't watch all that part, but... If it's not a killing the baby, then why are you tormented? Why are you struggling? And then uh, it started to change. But you say it's at fertilization, but at fertilization, there actually hasn't been implantation. And then once there's implantation, then nope. it, it, this Wrong. is a process. And uh, it's all I'm saying is there's not a consensus. And you're saying there is, and that's factually inaccurate. We can we can agree to disagree, but I will say, you know, when I was but pregnant, but the literature with, doesn't disagree. Well, we can yes, I would, it does. We look it up. It's nice. Princeton University also did a same a same article on this. Scientists have agreed. A medical survey. journal. But regardless of that point, I think the question is, you know, we know deep down when you're pregnant, there's a new human life. You know, that's why it's so devastating for Nancy. She's Our so brave for doing so this as well. We all know that deep down, these are these are human beings. That's why it's so contentious. Mm. And listen, we, do we acknowledge that all humans have human rights? Because I think what your your question. Well, is about, I, I agree about with a lot of your points. I'm just I, saying it comes down to when that life begins. But I, that, I don't think Nancy saying. or others here are saying okay, they're not human beings. Like, the yeah. real argument we hear we're having is about choice and a person's right. She's pro-choice. She's like the pro-choice side of the debate. To choose what is best for them, what is best for them regarding family planning, what is best for them regarding their You don't problems. get to choose to kill someone that's not your... Imagine killing someone and saying, well, I had the right to choose if I wanted to kill them. No, it's not your body. It's not your arm, it's the baby's arm. It's not your leg, it's the baby's leg. It's not your heartbeat, it's the baby's heartbeat. It's not your body, it's not your choice. It's such a dumb argument. It's, it's not even valid. Bodies and their ownership. And when we are listening to this debate, we're constantly getting it back to about who is deciding what. If you determine for yourself that's when life begins, that is fine for you. She but didn't determine, all the scientists did. Someone else may determine something completely different. And this is where, from a pro-choice standpoint, we're saying it is not for us to decide for anyone what they believe, how they believe, but they, they have options. So I think we need to- really And one of those options is you can freely kill your baby in this country for cheaper than a flat screen TV. Really pay attention to what pro-choice is really arguing, and what we're really talking about. It's about how truly, if we are giving people the right to choose, we're Okay, it's done. The right to choose. You can't choose to kill somebody. Let's look at the audience. Okay, this this is called Dr. Phil's audience joins the debate on abortion. You're going to see someone, some people manifesting here. Let's watch this. And she's a champ because none of these people are pro-life in this crowd, in this cast, and she's willing to do this. So props Should to her. Should a 10-year-old rape survivor be able to get an abortion? Now, pro-choice. Also, I have to pause it and talk or I'll, my video will get flagged for copyright. So, if you're wondering, why do you keep pausing and talking? It's a reaction video, that's the point. Advocate Christian Nunez says, absolutely, yet pro-life advocate Lila Rose says... So, 10-year-old R-A-P-E, which is... R-A-P-E is less than 1% of the reason why people get abortions. 0.3% of abortions are because of R-A-P-E. So, terrible argument, but let's go with it. 10-year-old gets R-A-P-E, should she have the baby? Uh, most 10-year-old can't even have a baby. Usually, it's tw you know, 11, 12, 13. But let's, you know, they have to make up these fictitious arguments to try to prove their point. The fetus is not the guilty party. Um, and th those are two very strong uh, opinions. I, I see a lot of my audience wiggling in their chairs. Uh, if you've got something to say, raise your hand. Great, and... I do. I have lots to say, actually. A ton to say, actually. They're manifesting in their chairs. Um, okay. I would say, though, in this particular case with Nancy, who I feel absolutely terrible for, Lila, I really feel like your views, you just want to- Nancy had to go out of state to get an abortion, so everyone feels so bad for her. You had to go all the way to another state to kill your baby? How sad. A legislate evil. That's really how it feels when I hear you speak. She says Lila wants to legislate evil. Did the Bible not say there's coming a time where bad will be good and good will be bad? Murdering a baby is now good, according to this lady, and standing for life is legislating evil.
What a world. She, this, the, her, this one lady sums up the culture we live in. Especially when you're talking about a 10-year-old girl who was raped. I'm sorry. And um, to hear you say that, you know, they should just have it anyway is disgusting. I really think you're a traitor to your own. And I will never be able to agree with you. There's nothing you could justify to say that she should have to carry it to bury it. There is nothing you could possibly say to justify that level of lack of empathy. And that's the problem. How I twisted feel and demonic is our culture? Everyone's clapping. Yeah, murder your baby. Like in this country at the moment, we were founded on the lack of empathy, and we've just kept up with that tradition. If, if you have no empathy, a, abortion is devastating for, to women's mental health. No one talks about that. The year after a woman has you an know abortion, what it's really like the, the year after a woman to have the child. They, what kind of trauma is the that? Trauma that is the trauma is from the rape. The trauma is from the rape. The child's an innocent party there. Yes. The child we is don't born take out yet. It's not there. We, we should not take out generational sin on a child to say that. Wow, we shouldn't take out generational sin on a child. When, when is murder ever the answer for RAPE? That's really going to bring healing to you? There's generational sin, and that dad was but an abuser, the so the child should be killed. Sin at this That's rate. not We're fair to the child. We're talking about rights. And he just yes. said, we've been taken, a right has been taken away from us. And what is next? I want to address that, because our fundamental human right that we all share in this room is life. It's the yes. first human right. Laws are meant to protect the weak. In a society, who's the weakest? Who's the weakest in the society? A child. The poor. They don't have a voice. They can't speak. A child the in the room. That's or the a, weak. The but poorest. a poor child and we're would be the weakest. And we're keep them that way. By and, and a child with disability. Listen, kids. whether you live 10 minutes or 10 years or 100 years, you're a human life and you have the right to not be killed. And that's what the pro-life fight is all about. That's what we're fighting for, a culture of life where we provide real health care. You know, abortion is the intentional destruction of an innocent but human doesn't life. A woman we can have do a better right than that. that for herself? A right to choose what? what a right to choose what? Doesn't a woman have a right to do? choose what happens? Choose what? To murder your baby? To her body? But what's in her body? There's another it, life know, we're talking about. The, Let's acknowledge the science. And, and I would defer to Christian and the experts, but I will say this. You can't just be pro-fetus and not pro-life right. because both, a lot of times the pro-choice arguments are so dumb and so empty and so twisted but we're pro-human beings no, we're pro-human beings after, and women deserve after better after than a lot of these abortion. children are born we all those better. legislators who vote for pro-life when the baby's inside the woman then do, do nothing to vote Heard this before. Them with not, I mean, care, we, after school care. None you know, of that has to do with yeah, killing a baby. All these things, especially in marginalized communities. In the back row, in the middle. I'm Corinne. Um, you oh no, I know where this is going. Say life, but banning abortion hurts so many more people in the long run. So many more people. If you were really pro-life, you would be caring about these long-term ripple effects, about the 10, 12-year-olds that get raped and they could possibly die because their body isn't developed. That's like 0.1% or less. Yet The babies that come out and could be severely underdeveloped, me who gets raped, you know, why is it that you're telling me that I can only get an abortion if I get raped? You're telling me that I only get to have a choice over my body if I get violated. I How is that fair? What is troubling me is the idea of government mandated pregnancy. What troubles me is that the government will pay for you to murder your own child. What? Somebody tag me in. You what is this? That. That, that's in the no end. That's what's I, happening. I, no, no one, one is forcing, forcing anyone, anyone to get, to get pregnant. Motherhood. No, no one's way. forced to me. No one's being forced to get pregnant. That's a terrible argument. Can you, can no, I, let me, let me, let me, I get I like really to. nervous when the government gets into people's personal lives. Oh, let's talk about the V, the V A C C I N E, but the V A X, everyone has to get it. Government, my choice, my body. Everyone has to have a passport to get into restaurants. Okay, but now you're scared, Dr. Phil, that the government's regulating the murder of babies? Um, Hypocrisy. I've said that. I, I've said that when people come in and say, you know, we have problems deciding the custody of our kids, so we're going to go to court. And I go, oh, you don't want to do that. You would be much smarter to sit down and work this out between yourselves because... You have no idea what the court may do or not do. You want it, you you don't want the government in your lives. And I I really don't think the government needs to be telling people what they should do with their bodies. Do you have a story? Man, these arguments are so crazy, empty, twisted.
This girl literally is mad at her for being pro-life. You could watch the full thing on Dr. Phil's channel. It's, it's long and we won't go into all of it. I just wanted to react to a little bit of this debate. Again, there's no good pro-choice argument. Like I watch these videos, am I gonna see a good pro-choice argument? There's never a good argument for murder. Abortion is murder. Right below this video, YouTube's gonna flag it and they're gonna put a little banner and it's gonna say abortion is the removal of a fetus. In other words, abortion is the murder of a child removed from the mother's womb. The wombs of the women in America have become gas chambers. We are living in a genocide epidemic and we need to continue to pray. Abortion, we're making great leaps and bounds on the progress of ending it. And lots of states have banned it, but the, the battle continues. We need to keep talking about it, praying, being vigilant. Share this with a friend or family. Again, I want to hear your thoughts down below in the comments. I read the comments. So let me know what you think about this. I think Lila Rose held her own, did amazing. Even if you look at Dr. Ch uh, Phil's, video all the comments are like dr phil you don't know what you're talking about dr phil how could you treat a guest like that and they're in favor of her some people said what well, she was rude for interrupting and what are you talking about all everybody was against her and she's a one verse a hundred and i think she did an amazing job i mean literally that 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 cast i mean i'm sorry the audience that girl is straight up manifesting oh, why would you and getting all mad she's getting worked up because those are demonic spirits that are causing her to think that way and act that way Subscribe to the channel, like the video. We'll see you in the next one.